there's a staircase. Oh right, there was a, a door when we came out the other side. Eternal fire will guide you. On your way? Mm -hmm. Or will you stay longer? It's far safer. Okay, here we go. Where's Serena? Ah, there you are. <coughs> Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear proof. ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Um, let's talk about the prince. So who do you see playing the Doppler prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolia, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. I think we should go with the safe option, because we kind of need this play to go ahead. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. Okay, who's the princess? So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet... I do have more stage experience. So she wants to play the princess, in other words. Why didn't you just decide to play the princess? Role's yours. Talent and experience trump looks in my book. But she wrote the play. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking nope, about you. Nope, we don't want to do it. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Can we not do it? Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? Nope. Oh, yeah, that's... All right, no, we're got not the cast get out of it. Out. The game's written it this way. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? No. We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Oh, joy. Zoltan. What are you doing here? <laughs> Pissy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you're you going to wear hose and a codpiece. Nope. Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Yeah, like we can focus with him making comments on the side. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, 
A changeling rescued, or the Witcher's triumph? The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the Queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the Prince. A veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the Princess, renowned artiste, beloved Queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. Interesting to note, Renard is Fox in French, though her name is I Irene Fox. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. Why is that funny? Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. Oh, really? To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Ah, I thought it was a comedy. I didn't see Gathered anybody slipping on banana host, peels. Fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. That having said, <laughs> I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. T -t 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 Treason, tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. Hark. Hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love. My betrothed! Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a lack of morals. And a surfeit of cakes. <coughs> Witcher, tis true. 
This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! Ah, it wasn't much of a comedy. Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Like that, for God's sake. Ah, oh, look, we got a smattering of applause. Oh, look, there's a cat on the Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> hey, how'd you escape? I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but. Slow down, Marmalade. Why is he calling Marmalade? Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do 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 us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? No, no need. I'll recognize Siri when I see her. Sure of it. Oh, uh, uh, I just thought you might want to see. <clears throat> Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? Oh. No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. We think we can free Dandelion, just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance, then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Listen, you'll manage. 
Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! <laughs> what happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. Okay, not bad. Should go up not to bad level at all 18 for your first now. time out. Just a few minor trip ups. The performance in general, what did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? No. At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. There we go. And we should have gone up a level. Oi! Is that it? Wow. I spent... What was it? 50 crowns on them. And 70 crowns on the other people. So... 40 crowns is, is not a repayment. Oh, there we go. Another 30. Another 20. Maybe we broke even. Okay. Now we've got that done. Nope, didn't go up a level. Bummer. So that's that quest. Poet under pressure. Secondary quests, a matter of life and death. Maybe we should do that one first. Crack that one instead. Let's save. And go and deal with trips. Wait. Did I run all the way Are around. Right? Or will you stay longer? It's far safer with you around. Oh, that's the exit. There we go. Now we gotta go and meet Tris at her hideout in the bits. Well, well, well another freak. I was about my own business when suddenly up he pops and heals me. And hopefully we can go up a level then. Stop scaring us, decent folk. I don't know why you keep picking a fight with me, dude. Oh, I didn't even see you. I don't need any more chicken sandwiches, thanks. The grey one again. Don't swinging off his hinges all day. <laughs> Up another level. He's on the top floor. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Well, I came all the way. No, I'm just gonna turn around and walk out. Yes, Geralt? You're the one that says you had a problem. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who is it from? 
Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbutt needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him is a good idea. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters, then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Hmm. I wonder if, um... In the past, Geralt didn't have the scar on his face. I can't remember which one. I know I played it. Long, long time ago. Um... Trying to think. I didn't play Witcher 2. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go and play it at some point. Again. Because, um, that'll at least give us some backstory, eh? Why do we have to run through there? I don't want to run through there. Do I have to? I can just keep running down here. Fuck. Hey, town god. Damn, it must be boring standing here. Kisses your ass today, we'll bite it tomorrow. Okay, let's run down here. Through here. Lots of blue jerkins. Interesting. He's gonna have a load of keys. Do you have a lot of keys? Doesn't look like it. Drunk, that's a townsman. Um, does he have a lot of keys on his belt? Do you have a lot of keys? There we go. Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise... Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. <laughs> 